Welcome! Today we're going to play the Hand of Fate 2. Let's go and play the game. 3, 2, 1. Your memories are fading even now, gone to form the soul of the game we play. These pieces are new, as are the stakes. Life, death, and vengeance. We must ride, for time is short, and you have much to learn. Make your first choice, and let us set these wheels in motion once more. So I will pick the man. Because it's I'm a man. So. These cards represent your history and our game. We know where they end, for you are here. Therefore, these cards must guide you to my side. Let us see what the journey holds. The fool steps into nothingness because they know no better. In the same way, you must step into the void. You are a blank slate, and together we will write your history. You've stumbled many miles through this forest in search of the thieves who robbed you. Though exhausted and hungry, you are determined to reclaim your father's amulet. You finally catch sight of the thieves hacking at a large tree and arguing amongst themselves. What's your what's your decision, guys? Move closer to you's drop or keep your distance? Yeah, I think I'm going to keep my distance. Because I don't want to you no know, get involved with them. One, move closer to Eve's drop. We're going to Eve's drop. Okay. Every element of the game has been improved. Even those that seem at first glance familiar. Do not worry. You will soon understand the nuances. Three. Your choice is three. So we're going to pick three. Let's see. Oh, nice. It's a success. Creeping forward. You overhear their leader spouting orders. It's simple, he says. The idiots walk down the road. You push over the tree and jump out. They'll be too scared to put up a fight and will get rich. Why don't you just jump and stab him? One retorts. Another hooded figure chimes in. Yeah, corpses don't put up a fight either. Frustration rises up in the leader's voice. The emperor doesn't care if a few farmers lose some sprouts, but drop a course on the royal road and the place will be filled with soldiers before you even spent a coin. We don't need that trouble. Now quiet, here they come. <sighs> Since what? A group of farmers coming around the corner bringing their wares to the market. The thieves fell the tree into the path of unsuspecting farmers and leap out. Weapons brandished, give us all your food, they said. I think I'm going to leap to the farmer's defense. To help them. One. Okay, one. One's your choice. Anyone? Who wants? So we choose number one. You draw your weapon with practiced skill. Well, you hear the leader's voice. You lads handle this. I'll meet you when you're done. Okay. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. We're going to see the live um, happenings. So let's see what's going to happen. The, all the cards are going to be in um, combined into one and it's going to... You're going to see it. The tag, okay. Violence for the sake of violence and theft for the sake of money. Thieves attack frequently and can evade standard attacks, making heavy weapons less effective. Okay. Let's go. Where am I? Okay. So, WASD again. Attack, defend, block, space, left control is run, F is finisher, C shift. Ah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Ooh! <laughs> I'm I'm like playing Assassin's Creed at the moment. Finisher. 
Oh, so you have to finish it. Oh! What the? Oh! Nice one. Oh! Boom! You're done. Okay. The farmers fumble in their harbor sacks in gratitude. Thank you, adventure. I'm sure that they af after they took our food, they would have taken our lives as well. You fall on the food with a size, shoveling bread in your mouth to quell your hunger. Okay. Your satisfaction lasts only a moment before you realize their father's amulet is not among the takings. Their leader must still have it. You set to your feet, determined to find him. Okay. We're going to find the leader of the bandits. For the thugs. Find the leader of the thieves to retrieve your amulet. Okay. A friend in need. While enjoying a moment beside the fire, you spy a strange figure approaching your cow. It's a goblin dressed in what must pass for goblin finery. From beneath a filthy fox pelt serving as an ill-fitting wig, the goblin winks at you with wild red eyes. Aha! I've been roaming for hours trying to find you. You must get this over quickly. If I have any hope of getting to all the people on my list before sunrise, it lowers a sack from its shoulders. Now, from within my sack, I can conjure whatever your heart desires. The goblin's voice trails off as he examines his sack. Well, I could if there wasn't a, a blooming great big hole in it. His head disappears entirely into a bag until his bombos nose protrudes from the bridge. A new plan then. Goblin pulls out on his last trinkets. Okay, so I think I'm going to get the soldier sword. We're going to pick the soldier sword. Yes, I would like to equip it. A wise choice. Now I must go. There are many others I must visit before I can rest. The goblin runs off into the night. His fox wig flapping in the evening breeze. You can change equipment in the end. Okay. This card has a token. Can you find it? Okay. As they dash up to fear under a nearby log, the child shouts back, Remember, if you meet the forest folk, get me a lemon cake. In the other direction, an evil song hangs in the air. You attempt to find its origin. Okay. So, there are four cards again. One is a, um, one is a failure and three success. So, I'll choose number one instead. One. Yes! It's a success! You follow the song through ticket and stream until you find an open glade bath in golden sunlight. You find an aged maiden, her posture bent like the bows of the forest. It has been 12 winters since I had a visitor. Her voice is a whisper, yet it thunders your ears. You may visit me when you are in need, adventurer. This is yours now. Thank Even you. If you lose the challenge, you have earned this token. Thank you so much. Nothing could be more fitting now than meeting the mage who started this all, or at least started it all for you. A trail of fallen trees and distraught farmers leads you to the thieves who had stolen your amulet. It seems their infighting has only gotten worse. The bandits surround their former leader, weapons drawn. Ooh, everyone will get their fair share. There's no need for violence, the leader implores. Whoever heard of the thief? Talk about fair shares. Spits. You turn up and buzz us around. We barely stop anyone. It's been days since I've stopped someone. Days. The leader notices you approaching and waves you over. As much as I love to continue this discussion regarding stabbings, I'm afraid I have very urgent business with my associate here. As he greets you, he whispers, Keep me alive and there'll be plenty of gold for your trouble. Okay, so we're going to pick. Number one, tell him gold cannot replace the amulet he stole. He holds his finger. First rule of negotiation, never let them know what you want. Kill my associate and I will gladly return your amulet. Ever reliable, the thieves draw their blades to mug you, the leader hurries to hide away. Oh my god, I think I made a, I think I made a bad choice. Give us your stuff or we'll stab you up, growls one of them. Consider options. Okay, so I think I choose number one. We're going to fight them because I don't have enough food and gold also. So let's just fight them. 
You draw your weapon and prepare to deal with the miscreants. Think, perform a quick repost by attacking immediately after defending an enemy. Okay. Let's go. Okay, I'm alone. <laughs> okay, four out of four versus one. Oh! Also, when it turns green, I'm going to defend. Okay. Nice one. Woo! Ah! Nice one. Wow! I mean, I can take them all. One versus four. With the battle resolved, the thief leader nods in approval at the carnage before him. He also designed the name is Malaclips, Bard Extraordinaire. His smile fades under your withering glare. Sensing your anger, he raises his hand in surrender. Wait, let's not be hasty. We're on the same side here. I am an upstanding citizen just like you. I've been working with the thieves. Yes, but only for the greater good. No, really. They were killing people before I came along. I know it seems bad, but look. He pulls out an amulet from his pockets and presses it into your hands. All is forgiven, yes? You stare at the amulet. It does, look, it does not look familiar. Oh. Malakliff says, scratching his head. He opens a small satchel, so... Which one is yours? <laughs> Okay, so I'll choose the lion because yeah, it represents strength for me. For me, let's go. Continue. The lion amulet that suits you. Very similar facial structure. Say, you know what? I'm lonely. You're lonely. We should work together. You have befriended Malaclips, the trickster. Good thing we didn't um, fight him. Now we gain some friends. We should probably get to know one another, seeing as we're going to be friends for life. Malakli says, Tell me where are you from? Okay, we're going to have some heart to heart talk with him. Oh nice! A face reveal! Nice! So I think I've finished. <sighs> from clear water eh? You don't say? Good sirs from clear water. Very trusting. <laughs> oh by the way, I mean we friend. Oh money to Fingness of the Thieves Guild. He's quite angry at us. We should journey to Meyer Bridge together to appease him. Some gold might help. Although, come to think of it, they're rather busy. Malaclip's eyes, a pretty trader hiking up the road. <laughs> so, the best you get the gold and I make you wear. Dang, it's such a twister. So, let's go. Smaller pieces of our fates shattered into fragments. Collect enough and your reward will come in time. You enter a competition of strength at a fair. A gold price is available to the winner. In the first round of the competition, your opponent is the Dominative Roland, a halfling from traveling troop of acrobats. Ooh, okay. Um. These dice are another small game embedded in our game. Okay. So click and hold the. Ah, uh, click and hold to grab the dice. Release the throw. Okay, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. <laughs> Nice! I scored 12! Victory! <laughs> you are learning! <laughs> Roland is no match for your strength. He gives a disappointed black backflip of the table and collects his meager winnings. Then cartwheels out the door. Read that. <laughs> oh, nice! I get some gold. You take your reward from the purser on the way out the tavern. When you return, you will compete in the next round for the larger prize. Okay. No worries, I got you. Okay. The roads have become even more deadly since the Empire has come to power. 
despite their promises. It's blocked by an overturned carriage and a woman calling for help. Please help, she cries, I've been robbed by a band of thugs. Is there anything you can do? Okay, I think I'm going to assist the distressed woman. I have... Okay. Now I have to do dice? Okay. Ooh, I hope I reach 12. Shake it. Give me 13. 13, 15, anything like that. Because um, I have 3 dice. 6, 12, 18. So 18 is the highest. Come on. Give me something better. <laughs> Only one! Which dice to reroll? Let me get this one. Only one. No! <laughs> Why, thank you. Now you would be so kind as to give me all your gold. The woman draws a pair of concealed blades. What? Man, I should have. I shouldn't have helped uh, um, help her. Come on out, boys. You have no time to react as a group of bandits spring from hiding. Okay, we're going to war. Man, I should have. I just wasted my dice to her. Let's go! Mm -hmm. Soldier sword. Every hero must have a real heroic sword by their side. This, however, is utterly ordinary. Let's go! There are only four! Oh, I forgot the green! Nice. So when it turns green... Oh! Dang it! Oh! That was close! Oh my god! Oh, that was close. Oh, boom! Done. With the thugs defeated, you search their bodies for valuables. Okay. Oh my god, another dies. Oh wait, it has a skull symbol? I hope I don't get it. Ah! Wait, let me get this one. Reroll this. Come on, give me it. Give me something better. Yay! Exactly nine. Yes, let's go. You find some good food among their possessions. Ah, ah. So we have to go up. Celebrations in ah. aid of what? You see how quickly the actions of the usurper are turned into tales for children. So nearing the sleepy hamlet of Dulwich, you'll find the villagers in the midst of some kind of celebration. Much of the um, activity concerns a large paper and a wood statue depicting a fearsome warrior looming triumphantly over a prone disarmament. We're going to ask first, so that's my choice. Let's ask about... A friendly stable hand explains, in a bygone age, our town was beset by half men, half lizards. There was no food, no respite, and very little hope. Salvation came in the form of nameless warrior who hunted the beast for a little more than hand full of coins and crust of bread. Smiles warmly at the festivities. You honor the warrior like this. Statues filled with food and gold. We take turns smashing and get into bits with a club. You're welcome to join us and you may keep whatever falls up. Ooh, nice. The parade and statue are winding their way into the town and almost out of sight. So I think we're going to follow it. Follow it. <laughs> the parade ends in the town square. You watch as the villagers take turns smashing the statue with a club and gathering food and gold that spills out. A local notices your interest and asks if you would like to turn. If you would like to turn. Okay, so you have two choices again, guys. Either one, you join in, or two, watch a local go first. So. Yeah, I think I'm just going to watch a local go first. But it's your choice, guys. So, Faceless PT choose two also. So, let's go with. Let a local go first. I think that is appropriate. I mean, you're not a local. You just um, went in there. 
and not knowing what's going on. So let's watch and a local go first. You allow a younger to go ahead of you in the queue and act courtesy that grants you the opportunity to see how this works. Crowd cheers enthusiastically as the child smacks the lizards. Lizards man uncle with the club and gathers a few coins and drops sweet bread that fall out. It's soon your turn. You accept the blindfold and take the club into your hands. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to win this time. Ooh. Give me success, please. Hi! <laughs> no! A failure! Oh my god! You wield the club with all your strength. However, the blindfold affects your balance and you bring the weapon down on your own. <laughs> Ouch. Oh my <laughs> Let me choose number four. I still haven't choose four. Oh yes, five. I think that's the lowest. So in golf and shame, you lead the town to the celebrations and hope no days after on this day. Yeah. I hope you forgot about it, yes. Water is a symbol for the many thoughts that churn beneath the surface. What is it you're thinking of? What concern is worrying at your mind? Let it fall into the waters beneath. While crossing a stone bridge, you suddenly find yourself confronted by a villainous clown. You could stand and fight the fiends or throw yourself into the mercy of the um, river below. Let's go and leap into the river. Hopefully I get the dice target. 11. <laughs> Let's go. You dive over the side of the bridge just in time, plunging into the cold water. Please give me 11. 11, 11. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, 9. Let me reroll this one. Oh, nice! <laughs> yes, let's go. 13. Okay. Though a combination of luck and skill, you manage to avoid the worst of enemy of the river's hazards. You emerge on the banks for the downstream. Here we come to the end of the beginning. Running errands for mages. This will become a theme, I dare say. You arrive at Mire Bridge as the sun begins to dip below the horizon. You find Malaclips perusing a selection of cheeses by the market. Ah, if it is with my friend, ah, if it isn't my good friend, the adventurer, did you bring the gold? Venus has arranged to meet at the graveyard. I mean, I have the gold. I have twenty gold. But I don't know how many gold does Venus wants. Hmm. So I think I'ma keep exploring. Go to the graveyard. Okay, go to the graveyard. So yeah, let's go to the graveyard. It's the chat choice. Let's go. You wonder whether the spot was chosen for its seclusion or for easy buddies. Bignus greets Malaclips with a sly grin. Looks like you turned up after all and with the lacking toe, lacking toe, we had our dodge, you know. Bignus cracks his knuckles and giggles. Well now, Malaklips convince me. What's to stop me cutting off your head today? You reveal your gold as Malaklips crongers in his pockets for something. For something. Ah, I lost all my gold. The heavy satchel of riches lands at Vignus feet with a thud that echoes through the silence of your cemetery. That's our deal done, Malaklips says. Worry of you in his voice, no need for any further troubles. I'm sorry, Mal. Vignus greets. Should have known the guild was never going to let you pay with cash stolen for our members in the first place. Ugh. Okay, what's going to happen? Let's see. Okay, what's going to happen? Are we going to fight Vignus? Oh, this is Vignus. Vignus the Craze! Treacherous and greedy, a dangerous combination. Anarchist float flaming bombs that cause fire damage. Your armor snows. Oh my god! I don't have any armor. I mean, I have one, but. Oh my god. And I have four. Shoot! Woo! 
Help me! Wait. Oh! Let me deflect. Ah! Ooh, that was close. Ooh! And she. Ooh! Ding! Ooh! Evade! Evade! Nice! Evade! Slice! Ha <laughs> ha! One more! Ah! Finisher! Oh! Venus is done! Wow! We defeated Venus. Malaklip scratches his chin totally. It seems you could do with some savvy. Help you navigate these tricky matters of diplomacy. Like maybe killing everyone wasn't the best idea. Come, let us discuss our partnership over an ale or two. Okay, I hope I get the gold. Yes, I got the gold. Well Open done. It. You have cleared the first challenge, and now we can move on to the next. So we choose three. Fourth in the road. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, I waited for one minute and then they're just going to click all of them. <sighs> My God, Mr. Billet. Open. Oh, there's too many chests. Welcome to my challenges. Oh, together we will traverse twenty two paths of wisdom and despair in the hope of awakening. <laughs> 